visible. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Very good. Uh, thank you to all. Thank you to all, and uh, and I want to thank you for inviting me and giving chance for me. And today presentation is about uh, the impact of microfinance on poverty alleviation in Afghanistan. And here is my uh, current position. I'm working as a credit and uh, operational risk officer at the first microfinance bank, Afghanistan. Does everyone have my voice? Hello? Very clear voice. Yes. Very nice, boy. Okay, yes, it's clear. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Here, I want to say something about uh, my experience and the background. As uh, Mr. Chaudhary mentioned in email, I have five plus year experience in banking and microfinance in Afghanistan, as well as uh, studying last semester of uh, Master of uh, Economic at Khatib University and University in Afghanistan as well uh, completed bachelor of business administration the same time uh, i'm the member of economic and education board uh, for our national council uh, for afghanistan uh, three plus year volunteer experience and na at national and international uh, non-profit organization and a former senior linden expert at oxus group as well former loan officer at the first microfinance bank and now uh, I'm currently working as a credit and operational risk officer at the first microfinance bank Afghanistan. Uh, today's topic is about the impact of microfinance. And now I want to uh, explain about uh, uh, poverty because uh, what is the poverty? Uh, poverty is a state uh, or condition in which a person or a community lack the financial resources and essential for a minimum standard of living. It means the pupil uh, who do not have a good income, or uh, we can say pupil having daily income uh, less than uh, $2 in a day, uh, they are poor, or as well not having access to basic requirements. For this pupil, we can say they are poor or uh, living below poverty line. Uh, sources of poverty. What are the sources of poverty? Uh, this are uh, I listed. I mentioned before, lack of income. The, uh, those person or poor that do not have a good income or have income but they not good or enough to uh, provide the the necessary thing for their life, as well they are vulnerability to income fluctu fluctuations. There are some uh, people uh, that their job or their business is uh, during security situation, like our country, that uh, security situation and uh, political instability is not good, uh, as well lack of access, uh, powerlessness, some of people are uh, do not have physical uh, health or their mental is not good uh, to run their business or run their job and uh, now i want to explain about microfinance and rule of thin on poverty uh, microfinance is the provision of access quality and affordable financial services to low income household. And the aim and objective of they are giving loan to different sectors and to different people. And the mission is to reduce poverty, building assets through providing this uh, different uh, uh, services like small and medium enterprise, different quality of life uh, and different uh, startup services. Uh, they are giving loan to different rural and urban uh, area. Uh, to 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 sustain the pupil or uh, or help the pupil uh, to make a business for theirself, as well stabilizing consumption, protecting against risk. And this is another uh, aim of uh, the microfinance institutions, fighting against poverty uh, by providing the different loans and by providing their uh, business idea. 
and by supporting their business idea, uh, the microfinance will uh, fight against poverty uh, in Afghanistan as well as other countries. As well, it provides uh, microcredit, microcredit in rural area of Afghanistan when microfinance started uh, their uh, programs in Afghanistan since 2001. There was a lot of problem. There was a lot of people who do not have job after a microfinance institution came in Afghanistan and bring and open their branch and network. And now they provide uh, more uh, financial services and financial assistance to different sectors and creating more jobs in Afghanistan by creating these more jobs and uh, financial services. Now Afghanistan will uh, get better as well uh, encourage savings encourage savings, uh, the, the microfinance institution encourage the people in rural areas uh, to put or save their, saving their money in the banks, that bank can use uh, uh, those and invest in other place, uh, places or give loan to another person. So this is another goal of uh, microfinance institutions, as well money transfer for poor. So how microfinance uh, help in poverty alleviation? As we said, the um, mission or the vision of microfinance are to reduce poverty by, pro uh, by producing these services, access to resources, like credit, as I mentioned before, as, uh, the, the, as well training, loans and capital. Uh, besides the providing loan for different sectors and for different individuals and businesses, uh, the one uh, mission of microfinance institution is provided training and awareness uh, for the people as well they make capital for the customers how they make capital to to through supporting their uh, current business as well uh, through uh, uh, supporting their business ideas exposure to group support as well accumulation of social capital reduction in vulnerability to, pr to private borrowing and this is an important uh, mission because before uh, there, when there was no microfinance in Afghanistan, there was a, a, a private borrowing that created more problem for individuals as well. Uh, contract was, was not clear. When microfinance provide the services, this problem has been solved. As well, increased income by providing loan, the businesses are uh, creating jobs as well uh, develop or grow their business as well say uh, loan repayment loan repayment is another uh, part uh, because uh, before that there was private borrowing and do not have a uh, loan repayment and uh, microfinance institution high duration contract that is good for every individual and for every business person that can uh, easily pay the installments. The another part is a reduction in wasteful expenditure, uh, better education for children when uh, the female clients and uh, the rural urban area clients are using from the microfinance services, the education and about the better health care, about asset acquisition and meaningful uh, choices and collective decision. About the world scenario, poverty reduction was institutionalized in 1944 with the establishment of the World Bank at the Burton of a World System, as well as uh, MFIs are contributing significantly to countries by creating income generation and self-employment opportunities for the pure, uh, poor people by providing microcredit. This is a chart that shows a poverty detection through microfinance in different continents that uh, microfinance institution uh, was very efficient and very of the world. As you see, from 1981 to 2005, there is a big changes and big reduction in poverty 
in poverty reduction in different uh, uh, countries. The MIFO is in Afghanistan. Uh, the first microphone. Vaccine is not a mass market. This call is not a mass market. In more than 82 uh, district of Afghanistan. And like Oxus, Afghanistan, Fenka, Afghanistan, as well, Mutaiti, Fayez, these are the network or uh, MFIS that operate in Afghanistan since 2004 and create many jobs and opportunities for Afghan people. Activity area of, of MFIS in Afghanistan. Uh, uh, this MFI are uh, activating or operating in 14 provinces and 82 districts. As well, they provide uh, um, 2,068 uh, uh, 6.4 active clients. They are, this microfinance institution have this uh, much active client. As well, total staff is uh, 2,419 and 36.9% of women borrowers, as well, number of loan dispersed cumulative about 1,429,428. So why I discuss this uh, uh, session? Because microfinance came in Afghanistan and bring a positive changes. So they provide work opportunity for some people directly like total staff as well. They provide a loan for different uh, about uh, more than one million person that they make quality of life better. They is, some of them stop their business as well. 36 percent this borrower or uh, woman client. So this has a big impact uh, on uh, women in rural areas because they they have access to microfinance and uh, this make their uh, their ability better. This is a report by Microfinance Investment Support Agency for Afghanistan in 2020. What changes will microfinance bring? Uh, the decision-making rule in family, uh, the, pers uh, the person that uh, are used from the services, their decision-making rule as being high and uh, self-confidence, creating self-confidence among women and among uh, the customers awareness of, of social issues as well awareness of health issue and sanitation as well change the living standard um, uh, according to a survey uh, when client or borrower are using from the microfinance service uh, their uh, life being better their life getting better and especially in a rural area of afghanistan rural province of afghanistan it was very uh, effective this is uh, a client story from uh, four provinces of Afghanistan who, like, who live in a bad uh, security situation. Uh, he tell that uh, he, he, uh, she, her, her husband uh, passed away and she didn't have any income. And uh, he was very angry and was very happy to can I do and what will happen to my life? But when the my marketing team of microfinance services uh, goes to their uh, area uh, and provide them the brochure of the microfinance services to this client and encourage them to use from microfinance services, and this woman came to the branch for opening an application and giving proposal for the bank. Uh, to purchase a cow. So now she purchased a cow and he provide about seven liter milk per day and by uh, selling the uh, milk, uh, she generate the in she generate income for herself and is an, a, a live example of impact of microfinance in Afghanistan that this uh, a uh, woman used from the microfinance loan and had a positive uh, changes and a positive impact on his personal life. Uh, the another impact is on job creation. 
uh, based on a report in, in March 2020 from Ms. Fah, over 1 million estimated number of job microfinance created in past 10 years in Afghanistan. That in a third, uh, third world countries or less development countries, it's a big changes and it's a big uh, achievement for microfinance that, that beside the government, it's a good uh, partner for it's a good partner for government for cre in creating jobs. Women empowerment. Fourteen percent of female borrower notes that changes in their ability to influence their number of children since they started their business. So most of uh, female clients of uh, micro microfinance are using uh, the loans. They started their business. They are tailoring business in Afghanistan and creating income for themselves. Before, uh, before that, most uh, most of uh, women do not have access in, Af in financial uh, services, and as well do not have income. And when microfinance uh, services are um, provide the loan for female clients, now they have very good income and they have very good. Uh, uh, decision uh, ability in their family. So, I, uh, as a uh, time is uh, not uh, uh, very long, and uh, I want to conclude my uh, uh, session. Development of microfinance has improved the living standard in urban and rural development uh, people uh, for. Rural and uh, urban people of Afghanistan, as well microfinance institutions, creating work opportunities, uh, as well microfinance as an effective tool for reduction of poverty. Microfinance lead to social and economic changes in the borrower after the participation in the program. So currently, as I said, I currently work in microfinance institution. Most of uh, uh, client. Uh, that use from these services, uh, they are very satisfied from the services and telling that microfinance is a very good uh, partner for all Afghan and for all poor people who do not have access um, to financial services. Uh, these uh, services uh, create uh, more opportunities and more uh, income uh, for the borrowers. This is my recommendation uh, for uh, the interest rate uh, should uh, decrease for having a good, uh, for having uh, these uh, services for all of uh, poor people, we should uh, decrease or the government or a microfinance institution should decrease their rate of interest and that everyone can access to a microfinance loan as well. Uh, the loan duration should increase in rural areas, the repayment capacity and the debt ratio capacity of the borrower are very low. The microfinance uh, institution should uh, increase the duration, uh, the duration of their lo the loans, as well as the access to loan in rural areas. Uh, they should provide uh, mm, uh, easy condition and, uh, and for in rural area that as well opening of MFIS branch in rural and far provinces. There is uh, a lot of provinces in Afghanistan and it may be in another less development country as well that uh, their people do not have access to, my, to these services. So uh, for improving their life and for uh, uh, reducing poverty, the, these agencies uh, should open their branches in four provinces and four, uh, four areas of Afghanistan that, if the, that those people who do not have, have access to these services should have, uh, should have access to these uh, loans. And so this is not only the jobs of microfinance services. I think uh, the government uh, decision is as well very important. The government should uh, support as well bring the security 
good security and political stability that microfinance can open their branches in those provinces. Cost of funds should decrease for MFIs, uh, the donor agencies and the government or the, the two agencies that provide fund for the, this MFIs, I think they should decrease their uh, rate that microfinance can provide the low rate and uh, for their clients. I think donor and governmental agencies should support them for, to expand its services in rural area. As I said, there is a lot of provinces, as a lot of people in our country that do not have access to the services and the living standard are below poverty. So for fighting against this and for helping those people, those needy people, I think this will be very good that government support these agencies to expand their networks and uh, open their branches we have in on those provinces that poor people that they are living a standard is below or below poverty line they should have access for this as well the another important point is easy collateral uh, this mfis should provide an easy condition and it means easy collateral like guarantee financial guarantee they should make easy and this for poor people that can that can have easily access to the services. So this was uh, my presentation. Hope uh, it was uh, effective for you. And thank you for giving chance for me. Hope to have a physical session in a country that meet you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Okay, see that now you can uh, stop stop your.